Hi guys, so we're still um, at page 104, Trail Guide to the Body. Good. So I will be uh, presenting Corco clavicular ligament. Okay, so we see the image here that uh, the trapezoid and the conoid ligament, those two are the Corco clavicular ligament, right? And this is the anterior view. So the therapist is uh, palpating the coracoclavicular ligament. Okay, so the coracoclavicular ligament is composed of two smaller ligaments, the trapezoid and conoid. So both ligaments stretch from the coracoid process of the scapula to the inferior surface of the clavicle. Together, they provide stability for the acromioclavicular joint and form a strong bridge between the scapula and clavicle. So the coracoclavicular ligament can be accessed by palpating between the clavicle and coracoid process or curling under the anterior aspect of the clavicle. So having your client uh, in seated or supine position, you're going to adduct and medially rotate the shoulder. This position brings the ligaments more to the surface and, and the client and the therapist, sorry, my apologies, will locate the coracoid process of the scapula and the shaft of the clavicle. Palpate in the space between these landmarks, roll your thumb pad across its fiber. Unlike the superficial pectoralis major fibers, the ligaments will feel like solid, taut band. So this is like um, one thing that we need to uh, keep in mind um, the specifics of the top of the um, ligaments okay this is how it feels like it's more solid dot band okay so the image uh, here anterior view palpating the coracoacromial ligament the therapist and this is the bigger image right the strumming unlike most ligaments uh, the coracoacromial ligament which hold two bones together so the coracoacromial ligaments attaches the scapulous coracoid process to its acromion. Along with the acromion, these ligaments form the coracoacromial arch. So across the top of the shoulder is what that arch kept. Okay? Keep, uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so along, um, sorry, this arch helps to protect the rotator cuff tendons and subacromal borsa, right, from direct trauma by the acromion. So we have the word borsa there. That's more of, if you can watch my other video, it's more a protective cushion or a shock um, for shock absorber. More so, I would use that word to identify in a quicker way, but please watch uh, my other video. So the, vi uh, the wide band of the coracoacromial ligament lies deep. To the deltoid but it's still accessible okay so having your client and supine seated locate the coracoid process then locate the anterior edge of the acromion palpating deep to the deltoid fibers so we explore between the landmarks for the wide band of the coracoacromial ligament strum your fingers as across its fibers so to bring the ligament closer to the surface try extending the arm this position will ro roll the humeral head anteriorly and press the ligament forward. So ask, your question, uh, ask yourself these questions. Are you between the acromion and the coracoid process? Place one finger on, on the ligament and possibly move the shoulder girdle in various positions. Can you feel how the ligament's relationships to surrounding tissues changes as the position of the shoulder changes? Yeah.